Hey guys, Manny back here on the Cascade Sense Ranking Station. This time with my good friend Abby. Hi. And we are gonna do another test video. This one specifically on indie fragrances. Ooh. <laughs> First off, what is an indie fragrance? For me, it's basically a startup fragrance brand that has somewhat of an indie slash niche appeal. Okay, that's a really bad definition. But something that's typically not distributed by Estee Lauder or L'Oreal or anything like that. I probably can't get most of these at Sephora, right? Can't that's get... pretty much it. Yeah, yeah there you go. <laughs> so with that being said, we might as well get to it. We'll start with this one right here. Okay. I like it. It smells kind of fruity. I, don't, I really like this one. Whatever it is, I want it. But there's also like a little bit of floral in it, but like not gross floral. Like you know how, like it's, a, it's not an old lady floral. It's like a actually nice floral. Okay, so the floral you're smelling, this is geranium. It's a very contemporary, sometimes masculine floral. And there's also the freshness of the ginger in here, which is really cool. So it adds like a little fresh spicy dimension. They put a whole ginger in there. <laughs> Pretty much. But actually this fragrance is this one right here. It's Uber by Duetto Parfums. It's actually characterized by oud base too. For the most part, you smelled the florals and the spices, and they weren't bad, or what was it like? No, I liked it a lot. What would you rank this out of 10? Ooh, eight. Eight out of 10. Yeah. Hot or uber. Moving on, we have this one right here. Okay, I don't like this one as much, but I'm not typically a fan of like really dude smelling smells. Uh... And this one smells a little more masculine. I wouldn't say it's like musky, but it's got like a little more of that cologne thing going on in the background, you know? When I think musky, I think like dirty, and that's not what I think this, like I think it still smells very clean. I mean, if I was a dude, maybe. It smells like a dude who's like wearing a suit, like a nice clean cut dude with like a really good job. Oh, fair play. Yeah. yeah. But this one's interesting because it has a little bit of everything in here. It has a little bit of a greenness tinge, something foresty like coniferous notes as well as you have some leather and some food as well. The one we're talking about is this. It's called Black Number no. One by House of Matriarch. On a dude, I'd give it a seven. If I were to put it on me, I'd give it like a four. All right, moving on, we have... Clear my nostrils. Hmm. How do you feel? I don't know how I feel. This one, I feel like this is another one of the unisex ones that you have there, but it does smell more duty than girly. I don't know how I feel about this one. Oh, I don't even know. I can't even guess what's in it. This one's hard. What is it? Just tell me. This one is called Orange Blossom Silk by Gallagher Fragrances. Okay. It's from their Silk series. It has this orange blossom floral, and the citrus florals typically come off as, in my opinion, masculine, very clean, very fresh. I get all of that from this. I do, oh, okay. but it was just, I think it was the citrus floral combination that was throwing me off. Because okay. I've never really smelled a lot of things that smell like that before. All right, and yeah. uh, as a result, what would you give it out of 10? I'm gonna give it a six. Six out of 10 for Orange Blossom Silk by Gallagher Fragrances. Moving on, we have this one right here. Clear my nose. <laughs> oh, I like this one. I feel like you knew I would like this one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it smells very clean. It does smell very clean. Like I feel like I want everything in my life to smell like this one. Uh... It just smells clean. Like there's no other way to say that. Not like pine salt clean. Clean as in how you'd want someone to actually smell. Yes, yeah, someone to smell. Okay. I like that one a lot. I want it. All right, this fragrance is called Royal Elixir by Dua Fragrances. And it's characterized by this cleanliness, but at the top specifically, you have some of that smoky pineapple, which really makes the cleanliness pop. I also get a lot of sage from this scent, but uh, you actually like this. I like it a lot. Yeah. I want to smell like that. Oh, The cool. bottle is really masculine, but I don't feel like the smell is very masculine. That's fair. I feel like it's more of a unisex scent. I would definitely say that, because I wouldn't be cheesed at a woman wearing this, you know? So, right. that's that. How do you rate this? I'm going to say that this is my favorite so far, so I'm going to give it a nine. A nine. Nine Nina for Royal Elixir by Dual Fragrances. Moving on to the next fragrance. Here we go. This one, I get like a little bit of that muskiness in it that I don't typically like in fragrance. This one's a little more woodsy, right? Definitely. Yeah? I get that from it. It smells a little more like how I would, ima how I would imagine foliage to smell. <laughs> like if you go into like one of those really pretty like Disney princess forests, 
Oh. This is what it smells like. So this one is actually this right here. It's, it's pink. Yeah, it's pink. It's Nightingale by Zoologist Perfumes. It's supposed to be somewhat reminiscent of like nightingales in like plum blossom Japanese spring forests. I was much. really on the money with the whole Disney princess forest thing. <laughs> yeah, it's just a super pretty scent, right? Awesome. Well, I don't love it because it's a little bit muskier and I don't love that, but I do like that it smells, like it smells like good outside, you know? And I can appreciate that smell even though I wouldn't pick it for me yet. And out of 10, what would you give it? I'll give it a seven because it's not like I don't like it. I just don't like it for me. There you go. So that's Zoologist Perfumes Nightingale. All right, and the last one is this one right here. I like this one. Really? I do like it. You know what? It just kind of smells like the way perfume smells. Like if I had to define for you what regular perfume just smells like, that's kind of what I think it smells like. Fair play? Yeah. I guess it just kind of comes off that way on the card because on my skin I feel like it's a rather unique scent. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it could just be the card, but it does, it like, it smells clean, but like a little bit of floral. You know, it just, it just smells like perfume. So this one has a little bit of everything. We're talking about Hanami by Fleur Fragrances. A little bit nutty, also has some sandalwood in the base, just overall, just uh, light yet invigorating scent. And out of 10, what would you give this? Well, I like it, but I don't find it that unique, so I'm gonna give it a seven. Okay, so yes. 7 out of 10 for Hanami. Yeah. And there it is, guys. We do have a winner. It's called Royal Elixir by Duo Fragrances. I just want a lot. Yeah, I want it. So do you guys agree with Abby's analysis on certain scents that she ranked here? Please tell me in the comment section below. I'll also leave links to Abby's channel and her social media in the description too. So check her out, subscribe, all that jazz, and yeah, we'll see you next time. So thanks again for watching and take care. Spell with an S, not a C.